Let's now shift our attention to some other news that's just coming in in terms of what is being announced in India. The Indian government has now reportedly declared the viral outbreak as a disaster. This is the latest bit of information that is coming in where the Indian government, which has been taking many steps, has now come forward and said that this outbreak is now a disaster. And for more on this, we are joined in by Vyond Sidhan Sibyl, who's got more information on this. Sidhan, first give us a sense of understanding is what does it mean when the Indian government describes an event or, or the situation that is unfolding as a disaster and, and why has it been done now? Well, it has been notified as a disaster. It's a kind of a legal process for the purpose of providing assistance under the state disaster response fund so that the funds can be utilized uh, for specific purposes like for example ex gratia payment will be made to the family of the deceased person if a person dies of coronavirus his family will be given 4 lakh rupees and of course uh, there are other provisions as well like uh, if a person requires hospitalization the cost of the hospitalization of managing the covid patient uh, the rate will be fixed by the state government. So these are provisions taken uh, by the government by notifying it as a disaster. We know that the Indian government has like classified masks and hand sanitizers as essential commodity under the Essential Commodity Act. That basically means that the state government will regulate the production, the distribution of uh, these two uh, things which are important when it comes to containing the virus. So by uh, classifying it as a disaster, it means that it will uh, use it uh, for uh, giving uh, money and taking uh, and using all the legal provisions so that assistance can be provided under the disaster relief fund. Absolutely, indeed, and also considering the fact, Sidhan, that you know many of these uh, nations in Europe with with much better health infrastructure, they are struggling to bring the novel coronavirus infections under control. Now, India is 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 in fact a nation of contrast. In some places, we've got very good health infrastructure, but in other places, the health infrastructure is found wanting. Is there a certain blueprint that the Indian government? intends to come up with in the forthcoming days, considering that the next 30-day window is going to be a very crucial one to ensure that the coronavirus infections now do not spread rampantly, like what we witnessed in China and in Italy. Well, the blueprint has already been placed, uh, not uh, since uh, this month only. It has been in place uh, since January of first week. Uh, India was one of the first countries to put uh, a plan to make sure that this doesn't spread and by and large it has succeeded in at least containment because if we look at India's population versus uh, the number of people infected, it is far, far low. It is still technically on papers on the website of the government. The case kept, it is uh, just in 80s and we know that the government is, being, uh, is putting more and more provisions to make sure that it is contained right. like no visa policy has been put in place and we also know that the Indian government is spreading awareness. So these are the measures already in place and the basic function of the government right now is just to make sure that they are implemented. All right. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Sidan, for joining us and getting us all those insights in terms of what is happening on the coronavirus front in India. At this point of time, the number of infections stands at 83. In the next 30-day period, according to analysts, is said to be a very crucial one for India.